Where the hell is it? Mom, where's the measuring tape? Never mind. Okay, good. Jess, I just met the cutest cashier and I got her number for you. What's going on everybody, Jesse James West here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, we gotta unbox some things and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna be smashing an arm workout. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. We just hit 40,000 subscribers and I can only say thank you guys so much. It means the world to me and it's just crazy to think that this is happening so quickly. Firework celebration. All right, firework celebration, baby. Let's see what we got. Ooh! Oh! So we got two shirts, a hat, and a ton of supplements. Then moving on to box number two. This is from Jack Factory. <laughs> You're gonna be so jealous. You're joking. There is a plethora of items in here. As you see, big things have been happening and it's all because of you guys. So as I say a billion times, seriously, I love all of you. But the biggest message about all of this is seriously, you have to believe in yourself and you have to chase your dreams. You guys are allowing me to work really hard towards my dreams. It's happening slowly and surely. We might only be at 40K, but I hope this can inspire all of you to go out and chase your dreams and believe in yourself. I want you guys to scroll down and comment below your three goals that you want to achieve within the next year, few years, even in your life and use it as a place marker to hold yourself accountable let's chase our dreams together and grow this thing seems to be easier to get a sponsorship than a girlfriend sad <laughs> days man <laughs> now i am not currently sponsored by anyone so if you are a business or you know a business and you want to sponsor me hit this email up or if you're a female applications <laughs> to that email as well life's good baby we're gonna have a crazy arm workout and i'm so excited <laughs> ourselves an extravagant lunch. We have a beautiful wrap. We got some kale chips to replace potato chips. And we have a ginormous, probably over the top salad. And it's perfect because we did the triple threat sauce. Spicy brown mustard, sugar-free G Hughes, and Walden Farms Thousand Island Zero Calorie Dressing. Listen guys, I'll link them down below in the description off of Amazon, that's where I get them. This meal is extremely macro friendly, lots of protein, simple carbs, and before the gym, I like to have something pretty decently sized, that way I get a good pump, get enough sodium in me, and I'm not focused on being hungry. Kale chips are super easy to make, you just spray them with Pam spray, put them in the oven for like eight minutes on like 400 degrees. So after the Mark Wahlberg video, the bok choy, I learned how to pronounce it, okay you put it on a wrap like this and it's a game changer it adds so much crunch so much fullness to it i don't make this so much like a burrito but i make it like a giant taco and you just bite into it this wrap is inspired by greg Doucette as well he put me on that wrap game next up we have our enormous salad and i did not forget the triple threat sauce it's the way to go it's the way of life and i'll show you guys what i get for dessert in a second and then after the workout i'm gonna show you guys my post-workout meal i eat this literally every day i don't really change too much of my diet so definitely try never this. stop never settle it is now time for dessert, most important meal of the day. Now listen, in my defense, this is my first one of the day, okay? We're gonna try the new one, purely chocolate. That's what the ladies call me. And then we're gonna add some chocolate syrup, Walden Farm. Yeah, this is a game changer, guys. Zero calories, okay? Don't abuse it, just use it. This stuff we abuse, we, this is, I'm an addict. If you don't like wave your ice cream, then you're just a psychopath eating frozen ice. Quick tip, always use a smaller spoon. It makes you feel like you're eating more. Crack number one. Scoop your ice cream and leave a hole in the middle. This is the key thing. Scoop it so there's a giant hole right there. You're gonna take crack number one, drizzle it in the hole a little bit. On top of that, crack number two. Not too much, not too little. And this is what I call the most perfect thing in the world. Maybe a little taste test. You see that bad boy? Oh. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I told you guys about these ice creams and then I went to the store and there were none left. So if you guys keep going to my store and taking my ice cream, we will have an issue. We are currently mic'd up and I want your guys' opinion on this. I feel really weird doing it. I've never like, I feel like I'm either yelling across to a camera that went this far away. Like my friend is probably 30 feet away from me and you probably hear me like, what's going on? Today we're doing some ASMR. 
ASMR. I always wanna be trying new things, so comment down below and let me know if you like this and you think it's a cool series. If you do like it, we will do a mic'd up series. So technically this could be mic'd up episode one. We're in the holy grail of stimulants and supplements. Pick number one or two. Two? Okay, we're taking this one. Not sponsored yet, so we can't say who it is. We're gonna do a pump. I think you guys deserve an arm day, so we're gonna give you an arm day. When it comes to taking pre-workouts, you have to make sure you're actually getting enough water. That's gonna help the pump more than probably the pump product. We'll send it for the boys. Everything's gotta be fell set up. Can you tell by my ecstatic voice that I have to be quiet because I can't yell because I'm wearing a mic? Anyway, so first things first, I'm the realist, but we have to show Stellios' mustache, <laughs> please. Oh my. God. But yeah, so that's Stelios' mustache. We named him Steve, so comment down below, hashtag Steve. And after that 10,000 calorie cheat meal, we're doing all right. Our weight's back to normal. It was a bit rough in the beginning. My body hated me, if you know what I'm talking about. Don't do a 10,000 calorie challenge, it's really bad. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. For today's arm workout, we're gonna be doing four exercises for biceps and four exercises for triceps. That is gonna be eight total exercises, and we're gonna do four sets of each, which is gonna be what? 32 sets, correct. You passed first grade. I'm gonna put the full workout on the screen. I want you guys to try this, screenshot it, send it to a friend, do whatever you want. Not that though, don't do that. And in return, if you could hit the subscribe button, hey, I think it'd be fair. We're gonna start off with the first exercise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take something really light and then we're just gonna do about 20 reps, get a pump first, and then we'll dive into our first working set. So what we're gonna do for the first one, we're gonna prioritize what we feel best. You're working out your arms, you gotta make sure you're doing the exercises that you can contract to the most, because if you don't feel it, you're probably not doing it properly, or you're not getting the most bang for your buck. And as we know, time's money. So we're gonna do some easy bar curls, superset with an overhead French press. We're gonna add in some weight right now. We're still gonna keep it moderate in the beginning. I don't recommend going super, super heavy right away. In my opinion, I think getting a pump is the number one thing you gotta do, get a pump. Round one, felt really good. We're gonna do three more rounds of this and we'll move on to other stuff. Right now, I'll tell you though, I don't know if it's because what I ate before the workout is probably the low calorie ice cream, but that pump stuff, man. At the end of this workout, we're gonna measure my arms and actually see what they are. And it's either gonna kill my ego or boost my confidence. So either way, it still won't get me a girlfriend, but we'll feel better about ourselves, maybe. 50-50, what do you think? Over, under, over, yeah. Lights are out, in the dark. You kept pushing Straight into it. On, but then you went too far. When you ship a sail and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault F***ing jello arms Yeah, I'm filming, what's up? Time out! Come on, Cell! That stuff's cold, baby! Oh, let's go! Hi, puppies! Hail Mary! Down the center! He's running the third. Oh, he's out. We got some Dubs Company. Listen, I'm taking this thing to the next level. If you're not following on Instagram, at Dubs Company. I'll truly appreciate it. That oh, bro. That looks tight, man. Here in, on Jesse's channel, it's bright colors only. We want to stand out. Guys, comment below, copper drop. So for tip number two, this is a super important one. It's something that I didn't know for the longest time, but your bicep actually is fully contracted above your head. And your bicep is fully stretched back here doing a curl like this. This is when your tricep is fully shortened and to stretch your tricep out fully, it's above your head. So you got to find out what you like better. I'm one of those people that likes the stretch. So keeping all that in mind, you need to prioritize picking exercises that you're you're gonna feel the best and that you like the most. So this workout, we're gonna focus more on the contraction portion than the stretch, especially for biceps. For triceps, we're gonna focus more on the stretch than the contraction. All right, sweet, we're all set. You just gotta get on, strap up. Always wear protection. Let's get into it. And we're gonna do skull crushers, but there's a difference the way I do it. And once you hit failure, you're then gonna go into a press to a negative. Then next, you're gonna hop into a preacher curl. Let's dive into it, baby. Put my put my 
my problems, problems, paper diet, look the deputy mad at my brown, 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 problems in the paper, do my problems, 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 paper diet, look the deputy mad at my brown, 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 problems in the paper, do my put my problems, problems, paper diet, look the deputy mad at my brown, 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 problems in the paper, do my put my problems, problems, paper diet, look the deputy mad at my brown, brown, brown. God, your arms are so small. And I'm supposed to tell them how to get big arms? Can we get the, can you tell me at the next clip? So for the next one, it's gonna be straight arm press down, superset hammer curl. If you pick too heavy of a weight and you have to swing it up, chances are you're not doing anything for yourself but putting yourself at risk for injury. There's a muscle on the side and kind of underneath your actual bicep and that's gonna push your bicep out to pop more and it gives you that width. So to put all of that together, it's gonna give you some big arms. Every week, make sure you're trying to progressively overload the muscle and what that means is adding weight, adding reps and adding sets over time and that's how you put on muscle. Enough talking, let's dive into this damn thing. My arms are losing their pump. No, I look at the guy from uh, yeah, Napoleon Dynamite. Both are bad, though. We're gonna move on to the last two exercises. Two exercises. <laughs> I just tell you, this kid is so annoying. Finally, a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? We're gonna do incline bench curls, and what this is gonna do is gonna do that stretch motion that I mentioned, where your arm's behind you, and then we're gonna go right into another stretch motion, so we're gonna do overhead again, but with dumbbells. And my favorite position is in the stretch. So for tip number four, it's gonna be that you guys need to prioritize using a full range of motion. It's not about the size of the wave, it's about the motion of the ocean if you know what I'm saying. You can pin your elbows to the bench. I see so many people. That's ridiculous, they go like this. They barely go over their head. You wanna be a half sender bud? I don't think so. You're not a full sender bud, you're a half sender bud. It is time. Tip number five is gonna be drop sets. A drop set is when you pick a moderate or heavy weight, you perform the desired reps, and then you drop it about 15 to 25%, and you perform those same reps again, and you can do that once or twice. On the last set of my exercises, I always like to throw in a drop set. It really just kills the muscle, and that is gonna be the last point. Number five, baby, drop sets. I'm just ecstatic, okay? All of you guys are gonna have huge arms up. Let's get into it. Put the weight down, drop it about 25% for this one, and then right back into it, minimal rest. Oh my god, it's gonna burn like hell. Oh, oh. Oh God, your muscles ain't gonna grow unless you put them through hell, trust me. Why I'm such a grown individual, women put me through hell. We're gonna measure my arms and then we're gonna go make, you guys have been waiting for this. We're gonna make some protein pudding. It's super easy, you don't need to order anything, you have everything in your house, trust me, you do. Except for the guar gum. Okay, that shit's hard to find. If you guys did not rate Stelios' mustache down below, please do it now. It's be the making and breaking of my ego. I haven't measured my arms in years, so I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. 24, no, I'm kidding. Like 16 and a half. I don't know. I don't have a pump anymore. 16 and a half. Show them. We're going to get those to the 17 range. But that is what the protein pudding is for. So we're going to go upstairs and cook that up. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking up my famous protein pudding. It's not really my famous. I don't know. There's a lot of protein pudding out there. You guys asked for it on my Instagram. It's going to be chocolate, cinnamon, French toast kind of flavoring. That's a, that's a flavor now. Two packets of stevia. Protein, oats, sugar-free syrup. This is an option, but uh, Walden Farms chocolate syrup. Zero calorie, by the way. Sprinkles. And the most important thing, like you can't make this without it. Guar gum. I got this from an organic style grocery store, so go check those places out. You do need a blender as well. We're going to take this, you're gonna put about a cup of water in. You're gonna take one scoop of protein powder, 
We're gonna add in just about 15 grams of oats to thicken it up. You're gonna add in two Naughty Girl slaps of cinnamon, just two shots of syrup. I do half a tablespoon of guar gum. Oh yeah, oh ho ho. Dude, you saw how much that was when it went in and look how much you got. It's insane. Oh, you can just smell the amazingness. You gotta add some style to it, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't not. You're gonna tell me this isn't the nicest looking pudding you've ever seen in your life. Perfect for post-workout, carbs, protein, a lot of protein, and it keeps you full, so it's perfect. This is like 200, 230 calories. Taste test for all you lovers out there. With that Walden Farms, this is insane. It tastes like, like childhood. You can heat this up, put it in the freezer, put it in the fridge. It doesn't matter. It's gonna taste amazing regardless. Dude. It's like very thick, that guar gum. Blew it up. Literally blew it up. It's pretty good. Hell yeah. I gotta get that chocolate syrup, bro. This shit's insane. When you're nervous and you're on a date, oh God. Yeah. It's time. It's hat launch time. The official launch of Dubs Company hats. And so far the pre-sales have been amazing and we sold 50% of our inventory just through pre-sale. So the launch day, we're definitely gonna sell out. So by the time you're seeing this, it's probably sold out, let's be real. So I just wanna document this really quick. This is my office, all the hats, the boxes, clients, everything, packing, all that stuff. And the reason I'm showing you this is to show you that everyone starts somewhere and it's all about getting that momentum because momentum is key in life. I'm taking you along with me and I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you, so thank you. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I would truly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and just hit the like button, maybe, I don't know, if you're feeling generous. Dreams are coming true and all I can say is that if this isn't motivation for you to get started and go start your YouTube channel, start your business, go to that school you always wanted to go to, Talk to that girl that you always wanted to. Speaking of, do it. This is a sign. This is the omen you're looking for. Go do it. I'm serious. You can do anything you put your mind to. I promise you that. I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.